The entire vision of Blue Origin is we want to democratize space. T minus 10. You don't need to be a NASA astronaut. You don't need to be a trained engineer. Five, we want artists four, and poets and three, teachers three, and scientists two, to be able to go to space. One. Shepard has cleared the tower. Crew member seven is a position unique to Blue. Two assigned to each launch. There are six people that can fly in our crew capsule. The seventh person is the crew member seven. This is for real. This is it. The other crew member seven is called capsule communicator, and they represent all of mission control and launch operations to the astronauts. It took me a, a long road to get here. I spent over 20 years as a fighter pilot at the United States Navy, but since I've been eight years old, I wanted to be in space. Coming here to Blue Origin is the realization of a childhood dream of mine. My background is in physics and astronomy. I went into STEM education. I was a teacher for many years. And when the position opened up at Blue, I knew that was me. <laughs> the fact that I'm crew member seven and the visible point of our entire team it's such an honor. You're expected to start here in the noise. Crew member seven is our teacher, part trainer, and part guide. They're embedded with the astronauts. They're truly a member of the crew. They're going to live with you at the astronaut village. They're going to conduct all of your astronaut training. Space flight is complicated, but our astronauts that fly with us will not need to have a complicated view of what's happening. The rocket is autonomous, and all of the safety systems are hardwired into the core. On launch day, crew member seven is actually going to walk you up the tower, put you in your seat in the capsule, close the hatch. Capsule Capcom. The Capcom will then take over as the astronauts take their journey to space. And then as soon as they land, crew member seven will be there to help open the hatch and whisk them away to the celebrations. Our astronauts are one part of a very historic journey. We're trying to build the infrastructure to get millions of people living and working in space. So the people who come here will truly be helping us take that first step.